Hey guys, it's Justin, uh, answering your questions from joincfe.com slash knock. Um, this question comes from Franco at the Sign Science for Life. Hey Franco, thanks for asking the question. Um, so you actually asked a few different questions, but I'm gonna answer one of them. And you asked the major difference between Django registration, Django registration Redux 1.1 and Django registration Redux 1.4. So when you're talking about different packages, so Django registration and Django registration Redux are two different Python packages, although they are the same Python packages. The reason that you might see something like Django registration and Django registration Redux is because the original Python developer or the original package developer might have stopped developing for it, might have stopped updating things, right? So when they stop updating things, then, well, we either get rid of that Python package, it just sits there dormant, or somebody else comes along and takes what they originally did and makes it better or at least updates it. In this case, that's what's happened. Django registration is in the original version that was around, I wanna say at least in version 1.4, in Django version 1.4, which we're up to Django version 1.10 now. Uh, but Django registration itself has been around for a long time and made user registration really simple and easy. But then I think around Django 1.6, that original developer no longer supported the updates for Django, right? So that package, got old, didn't work anymore, especially with the new versions of Django. So what another developer did was take that original code and update it and just called it Django Registration Redux. That's what I believe that happened. I'm not positive that specifically is what happened, um, but instead of transferring the ownership on a GitHub repository or, or any form or fashion, there was just a new one that was brought out. And that's what happens with open source code. It's really cool actually, if you think about it, somebody started building this project, it served a lot of value while it lived, and then that person or group no longer supported that project. They just didn't, they got busy with other things or they just didn't find it um, important enough to keep it going, which is fine. That, that happens all the time in open source because that also allows for another developer to be like, hey, I wanna do this. So they take over the reins of that project and then really build on top of it and release it under a new name. In this case, they release it under a new name, but still gave you know um, props or, or they gave recognition to the original author with Django registration as part of the name, right? So like, for example, Python social auth is a, another Python package that handles user registration, but it's not like Django registration. It's not the same code base, it's not, an updated version of that. Django registration Redux in this case is. So that's really the difference between those two packages, but you'll see it elsewhere too. And actually I encourage you to also try the same sort of thing. If you see an older package that used to have a lot of value and maybe it hasn't been updated in years, why not try to update it yourself? That would be a really good challenge, especially if you're a newer developer, is to take somebody's package, fork it, update it yourself, and see if it actually provides value for the rest of the world and then add your own new title for it and then release it and also obviously contact that original developer and say, hey, I want to do this Redux package. Um, can you do that? Um, and sometimes they'll do it, sometimes they won't. But that's a really good challenge. Now, the difference between the versions, so um, what you asked was version 1.1 and 1.4, that's actually really simple. That's just a new release. Um, so bugs happen or a new version of Django comes out or a new version of Python and they have to change or update some things. Um, that's when they do you know, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 .1 or they wanna introduce new functions or features or new security features. That's something that all Python packages do all the time. So if you see 1.1 or 2.6 or whatever, those are just new versions that have new things to them. Um, that are supported in that way. That's that's probably something that's fairly intuitive, but um, I just wanted to clarify because you did ask about it. Um, thanks so much for the question, Franco. Those other questions, um, I think we already answered them for you in another thread. Um, if you guys have those same sort of questions, please repost them and then upvote them. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.